Hello everyone and today we'll be talking about different kind of versioning in machine learning world. So as you might be aware of in software development, uh, we do mainly code versioning. But in uh, ML uh, or in, I would say machine learning, we need to do data versioning as well as model versioning both. Okay, along with code versioning. So let's understand like what are the need of this data versioning and then uh, we'll uh, slowly move like what are the different tools uh, we use for data versioning as well as for model versioning and then we'll understand like how to use them. Okay, so let's uh, start. So, uh, yeah, so I mean, any uh, model building, you start with the database, right? So we have first database and then uh, basically what I'm going through, like I'm going through uh, like uh, different uh, life cycle step of machine learning. And then we'll talk about like uh, what happens like if you don't version your data, okay? And what advantages will you get by uh, versioning the data? So let's understand. So we have a data. And then uh, we extracted some sample data uh, for that, uh, like using that, we'll be training the model. That, that's the idea. So you have, we have like a data and I name it like version 1.0, 1.0. And then uh, this uh, we achieved with the help of some data processing or changes, addition and modifications, right? So in these steps, we have done all these things and then we have this final data. And then on top of that, we are doing some experimentation. So in that experimentation phase, basically we are creating a model. Okay, and then as the output of model, uh, we'll have certain artifacts. So uh, once we have that uh, experiment uh, done, it means model is created, then uh, we can also uh, like see uh, what kind of or what level of accuracy or performance it is giving. So suppose this model is giving 67% accuracy. Okay, so now like uh, the thing will be like, uh, you will be interested to further fine tune your model. And for fine tuning, you uh, like adopt uh, different uh, steps. Like you do uh, some uh, hyperparameter tuning, you change the hyperparameter and then uh, do experimentation or uh, sometime uh, you also change your model, uh, sorry, data, right? So you take some more data, like uh, you change the sample or you just apply some different transformation in the existing data. And that's how you get a different version of data. So what I'm doing here, so if you see here, so uh, we, we applied some transformation uh, in data version 1.0. And then also uh, it could be like, so based on your use case, right? You can apply both. You can take, uh, you can only apply some uh, transformation like here. And you can also take some more uh, sample from here, okay? And that's how we got data version 2.0. And then in this uh, uh, newer version of data, we'll apply uh, certain uh, experimentation and then we achieve a different model, okay? So now, as you see here, uh, we are doing in-memory operations, okay? So we are not storing anything back. So that's where the moment we started this experimentation, our old data and the previous experiment vanishes, okay? That, that, that is not stored. Okay, and then uh, with this experimentation, we checked. Okay, it is giving sixty nine percent accuracy. So it is a bit improved one. Okay, so now uh, now we will be interested to improve it further. So that's how with same process uh, we applied some more transformation on version two dot o of data, and then we could also take some more data or replace some data from databases. So based on different uh, use cases, and then we got data version three dot o. Okay, and then uh, we got. 3.0, then it means like, because if we are doing all the operation in, in memory, then it means we have already modified this data and this is not stored anywhere. And that's where like this will vanishes, okay? And then on this, uh, we'll do some experimentation. We name it experiment three, and then we got 63% accuracy. And likewise, we'll do uh, some more modifications and we keep on generating newer, newer version of data and newer experimentation. And then we observed, okay, at this stage, we are not observing any further improvement in performance of the model, okay? So what will be the next step? So if model performance is not improving, then what we will do, we will, uh, we would like to go back to that experiment which has given us optimal performance means the highest among all these uh, build models. But the challenge now here is like we have not stored any uh, version of data or any experimentation so that how we can reproduce those things, right? Here, there is a need to reproduce that model which has given 69% accuracy. So that's where versioning comes in place. So if you would have uh, versioned your data and versioned your experiment, Okay, along with the code version, like uh, which produces those experimentations and data, right? All these transformations. If we would have uh, stored them, then easily we would have uh, generated this uh, data and experimentation. So this step is known as reproducibility. Okay, Re uh, reproducing the uh, data or uh, experiment. Okay, so that's like if we would have 
restored or maintained the versioning with respect to data, with respect to experimentation, we would have easily reproduced these things. So that's where data and experiment versioning arises. Okay. And now we have, uh, suppose we have maintained that one, then we can simply go ahead and deploy. Right. So that is the, that is the, uh, like, uh, need or uh, that is uh, where we need this uh, versioning concept and now suppose uh, now we understood okay why we need this versioning concept uh, versioning of data versioning of model along with code versioning then let's understand what are the different tools we can use for that data versioning and experiment uh, versioning or model versioning i would say okay so for data versioning we have a uh, different tools like so before that, like uh, these are the reasons like uh, why we need data versioning. I already explained like the ma main reason is like uh, data reproducibility or code reproducibility with respect to code and experiment reproducibility with respect to experimentations. Okay. And then lineage tracking. So what is lineage tracking basically? So lineage defines like whatever uh, transformations or steps you have followed to reach a particular version of data. Okay. So you record all those things so that you can easily reproduce the previous one, older one. Okay, so that's where lineage tracking comes in picture. And then what are the tools basically? So we have a different kind of tools are available in the market. So frequently used one is with respect to data versioning is DVC. The so DVC is named data version control and it is open source. Okay, and then comes like patchy dumps. Patchy dumps is like uh, comes in different variants. So like uh, enterprise edition, open source and many. Okay, so based on your need you can check okay if if you want to use patchy dump then uh, in open source all the functionalities are available or not okay and then we have git lfs dalt and lake fs many different tools available okay in my next video i'll be explaining about dvc like how to use dvc so you can stay tuned and then just watch uh, next video in a week it will be available and then comes in model versioning basically so under model versioning we do experiment tracking and uh, then uh, model registry okay so experiment tracking will record all those experimentations what we have generated with respect to different uh, data versions and then each experiment will produce one model so that's where we need to model registry which will version the model so for this we have different tools like uh, one the major or widely used tool is mlflow so i have already uh, recorded all the videos with respect to model versioning or experiment tracking using mlflow you can watch so a step by step live demo is available and then and dvc so dvc also helps to uh, record the uh, model versioning okay so this i will be explaining in next videos so this is all about like the need of data versioning so let's not uh, uh, make this video lengthy so that's it for today i hope you understood the need of data versioning code versioning and model versioning and if you have any query then uh, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section and i will love to reply so that's it thank you guys uh, and please don't forget to subscribe and share with your with the ml community that's how you can support me